Welcome back to Golf Simulator Videos. Today we're back with the Unicore IXO Golf Launch Monitor. For those of you that don't know, it's the ceiling mounted high speed camera infrared system. We've been showing off a little bit lately and people said, hey, you haven't shown a lot of TGC 2019. Can you check that out? So here we are out at Wolf Creek in Nevada. It says 2K20. I'm assuming this is an updated course. If you don't know about Wolf Creek, it's a really cool course. I've played it on simulator software before. I've never played it in real life, but I know people who have. And they said it's quite incredible. Lots of elevation, obviously mountains all around. So here we are. Um, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. Um, I can hit the Q button really quick so you guys can kind of see where we're aiming. And I had some people ask in the last video, how are you doing flyovers? I don't know how. Well, you just hit the H button. All right, they take a little bit, so I don't do them that often. But yeah, just hit the H button, and that's how you do a flyover. All right, let's see if we can get a decent drive down there and get things started. Long par five to start things off. I think I blocked that thing left as it gets. Oh man, roll that back out in the fairway. E no good. About 260 or so, just wasn't uh, wasn't a great swing to start things off. Okay, you're kind of in I've always some deep stuff. This struggled a little bit zone. with my driver not warming up and coming out here. And let's see if we can 275 left. Now I've got my hybrid. Let's see if uh, where does it have us? Now why would it have us lobbing? You got to be careful. All right, it will uh, it'll definitely have you using a club sometimes that you don't need to. So I don't know why I would have us lobbing out of there. It's a great example, though, to pay attention to. I'm going to aim right down there with my three hybrid and hopefully get all of it and get us close to the green. I think I might have pulled that little Looks bit like too. this is heading for the rough. Oh man, we're just going down the left side of this this hole here. But uh, well, that's all right. Um, you're still Skipping in it. Putt, we're doing all right. You were hitting from a pretty gross lie, so I hit don't that you down. pretty well. Fifty-one yards. Okay. I'm in some heavy rough though, so I need to get this out of there. Heavy rough. Takes off a good percentage. I've been getting better at this with TGC. If you're looking for a hockey menu and, and uh, penalty deductions and everything, I can send it to you. Let me know. You know, as always, email is in the comments and description. And if you guys are ever looking for hardware such as the IXO, um, you know, let me know. All right, I swung just a little harder. Look at this. I'll take it. Nice. I don't think that's a gimme. It says distance to pin nine feet, and I think they're set at six, I want to say. And here we go for the birdie. Okay. So it says it's a 12-foot putt. I'm going to hit the left arrow. I'm going to move this right over here to where I feel like that's going to break in. It's a little uphill, so it has me going for about 12 feet. A lot of people ask about the putting with the IXO. I've been really happy. Let's see what we can do here. Break in. That was awesome. Oh man. I, I you know, I was a little worried if that was gonna get there. You know, um, you know, the green speeds, um, you really have to get used to them. Some of the courses are Starting different. Things off at one under. Um, so here we are, we're one under to start off. No complaints okay, at all. Okay, number two. Let's see what you now, can here do. Here you go. This is what I'm talking about. You can't even see where you're hitting this drive. So check this out. Look at the little map, and let's hit the Q button, and look at this. Look where it has us going. The elevation is so far down. Like if we did a fly over here, check this out. It looks like I actually am on, there's only two T selections, and it looks like it might have put me on the forward one, which is interesting. I don't think I selected that, but apparently because the flyover showed us from a T back, Look at the elevation on this course. I mean, it's just wild. So because we're not on the back tees, um, we're going to have to pay a little close attention here on where we're going to actually aim and go. Because I think I can aim right down here, right over 
the rocks. And so I talked to a friend of mine that actually played this course in real life, and he said there's several holes where you could hit your drive too far, or you know there's a, a mountain off to the side in front of you, and there's actually golf balls plugged into this like clay type material. I thought that was crazy. So let's see if we can, it's 128 feet downhill. You saw where I was aimed. Let's see if we can make something happen with this. Oh, I, that was a really poor shot. A really poor shot. I think I'm going to get away with it. I just, I, I, I tried to do too much with it and uh, just a really bad drive. I mean, I'm, I got lucky there. Just a bad drive. Okay, All right. Okay, you're we'll in get the that rough, corrected. but at least you aren't in the real 90 yards. Down. I'm in light rough. Let's see if we can get this close. As long as that drive, it drives in play, I just, I hit that really low on the face. Um, you know, just a poor strike. Let's see what we can do here. Light rough's only 10%, I believe. Get up. Roll a little bit. All right, I had some spin on it. We're going to have a tough putt, I think. I think it's going to be a little challenging. All right, we got a 22-footer. Let's see if we can do this. 30 feet. Now, it's a 22-foot to the cup, but notice how it says 30 feet because how far uphill it is. It's five, five inches uphill. So you can see it's breaking again, so we're going to aim a little left. It's not, not too bad. Hit this for about 30 feet. I don't have my club replay up today, but if you do uh, have view either on another monitor, because uh, the view software is what comes with the Unicor IXO as like a fitting software, and that's what feeds third-party software like TGC 2019, you can actually see your putter uh, playback, which I've shown people, and it's really cool, and I can show it real quick. Uh, it's not too hard to do that. I hit it too hard, I think. Oh, man. That was a that was a poor execution on my part. I knew these greens were a little fast, and I just hit that too All far. All right, this one for par. So now we have a tough par putt. So let's actually watch that really quick. I can actually pull that up for you guys so you can see it. All right, let me just go ahead and change to the view for you. So you're looking at view. All right, that should come up. And once view is up here, I'll show you. There's that. Now I have it shrunk down right now, but you can see there it is. So that's that replay. I can do it one more time for you. So it was a good putt, it was online. It's just that I, uh, unfortunately, just did not know that. I usually actually have that up for you guys to see. Why don't I leave that up? We'll just put it over here. You guys can see some of my bad, bad strikes today. There we go. Now we have both up. I was going to change the large view, um, you know, to have that up, but we can just do that. There we go. So... It's all about break here. That's breaking pretty hard. I think I'm gonna aim a little bit a little bit right inside the sim as well. That's something I do a lot. I knew that was gonna roll down. I just if I would have hit that a little bit harder, um, it probably that was probably the right read. Okay. You can see I only, you know, putt that about that seven point, or eight feet in the stem, there, and sure I enough, I'm only carried seven or eight feet. Well, we're back to even. We are back to even. We're going to a par three Coming here. Coming off a bit of a bogey on that last hole. Let's see if we can do better uphill. here. 178, 38 feet uphill. So I need a solid six iron. I definitely need a solid six iron in order to get there. Okay, I really like this course though. I mean, I've always appreciated the TGC graphics. You can see 
you know, uh, you know, the mountains represent themselves well back there. Not a bad strike, but that's going to put us in a tough position. That's a tough chip. I mean, it really is. All right. I feel like I almost could have clubbed up more there. 29 yards. 13 feet uphill. And it's heavy rough. So I'm going to try to play like a big flop. I'm going to play this for like, because it's 13 feet uphill plus the heavy rough. I'm going to play this for like 60 yards, I think. Stop. Oh. That, that just the undulation of the green carried the ball. Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to pull off a par here because that's a long putt. That is a long putt. Let's see if we can uh, save par on this putt here. All right. 23 feet. You guys can see the break there. I don't feel like it's going to break much more than that. Let's see what we can do. Break. Ooh, tough break. Not a bad putt. I wanted to get it there, give it a chance. And, uh, you know, but honestly, if it was a little less speed, it might have broke towards the hole. So we're going to give ourselves a bogey Sitting on the par three. For the round. Or one over. Par four coming up here. Okay, this is, is this the another hole. elevated? No, this is this is pretty pretty level actually. So let's look at the Q button where we're going. Love for you guys to comment below what you think or what else you would like to see in the channel. You know, please let me know. All right, here we go. Actually, get a decent drive this time, let's hope. Solid swing. Not too bad. All right, a little bit of roll. What do we have left here? 89 yards. Is that uphill? I think it is. 12 feet uphill. So I'm going to play this just a little bit longer. Should be about right. Ooh, this one's heading Gotta for it. Get down. Stick. All right, we're looking at birdie. Looking at birdie, not too bad. Ten footer here. Try this to get is back, uh, back to even with this putt. Let's see what we can do here. Breaking right to left, but it's only eight feet. We That's pulled it off. Great, great job out there. I'll tell you what. You guys have noticed how I've, you know, I, I that one putt, you know, I was off on. I've had a couple putts nice. that I was and right on. It down to even it's, power. The, the putting can be extreme. I mean, it is extremely accurate. You really okay. have to read Good these greens. You have to know the stimp that you're working with, you know. Um, you know, pay attention, you know, slow down. And it really makes a huge difference. So, um I'll, I'll do a flyover on this hole for you guys. I want you to play this hole, or play this course. It is one of those courses where you really have to check it out. See what I'm talking about, how this is massive elevation at Wolf Creek. And, you know, the gentleman that I know that's played this before, he said it was just, it, it was almost like, it was breathtaking. It was, it was hard to believe, he said, when you were on some of these tee boxes. Um, you know, the elevation you were dealing with, and... Uh, it's one of those courses where if you have an opportunity to play it, uh, he said you just you have to check it out. So I think we'll wrap things up there. I made it back down to even. Um, I definitely had some poor strikes in there, and you know what? 
we had some good shots that got us back where we needed to be. Um, you know, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. And, you know, it doesn't matter if it's you or someone else. If you're trying to build out a golf simulator, um, you're looking at hardware, you're looking at software. You know, if I can be of any assistance, all right, reach out to me. I have connections for all the different, you know, uh, hardware and software needs that you might have. So make sure you reach out. I'd love to help out. Today, this has been the Unicore IXO Golf Launch Monitor. We're hooked up to TGC 2019 Golf Simulator software. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, comment below, like the video, subscribe if you haven't yet, and we'll talk to you soon.